Hello! Just letting you guys know that I'll be at TwitchCon this year, so if you see me, feel free to say hi and I have special little bubs I'll be handing out to everyone. As well as a meet and greet on Sunday, September 29th at 4pm. I uh, hope you guys can make it. Enjoy the video. And like, you're not even enjoying the video yet? Okay. Ah, it's work. So I, I tried this the first day of the competition, I think, but I had something wrong, so it wouldn't work. But it worked now. This is kind of cute. I don't know. I might might delete this later. I might. Ooh. Duck in 2D! Huh? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe that pipe may help break some boundaries. Oh, I can go in the pipe? Oh, what? Get me out of here. I want to be back in 2D. I'm confused. I'm going back. I knew this was gonna happen. Take me back home. I'm going back. Okay, so I was stuck on this path, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I should go in the pipe. Right, that pipe got me all excited. <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> Do you really think you can escape me, billboard? You can't, you know. Wherever you go, I will hunt you down. You should know by now that no matter what universe we're in, I am inevitable. Damn, that's some that's some crossover stuff right there. Different hat creator. Lore crossover episode. Howdy traveler, a word of advice before you go on. So imagine this thing called an button. Now imagine pressing it. This form of meditation is the only true path to enlightenment. As well as the only way to successfully use the cannon beside me. Master our button meditation for a better, more prosperous future. I like it. I think what would happen is, uh... This. If I'm if I'm in the wrong camera, the cannon doesn't work. That's a classic trope. ROM hack trope. I like the... I like that it taught me. Oh, there should be an invisible wall right here, so the cannon shot is easy. Oh, is this two separate cannon shots? Damn. Ooh, straight on to the next level. This is 2D. Okay, I can't fall. You know about one-way platforms, right? They make sure you can only go one way. I do know about them. Oh, look at that. He did it. Oh my god, are these- these are Mario Maker one-ways. You know, not the prettiest ones I've ever seen, but... You gotta admire that he did this. What? Okay. I've been so trained by, like, Brodoot hacks that if a star is tilted or not, like, oriented properly, it's not a real star. So, uh, it threw me off guard there. Oh. Wait, huh? 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 Okay, star. I write this message to anyone who has been following me in these ROM hack competitions. This is going to be a little serious, so if you're not comfortable with it, skip it. I've been doing ROM hacks for a little under a year, but god have I spent a lot of time on it. I've wasted probably like a hundred megabytes on my PC. That's not an exaggeration. <laughs> it's been a blast. But all good things must come to an end. Now before some of you get excited, no, I'm not permanently quitting. Thing is, I don't know how long, hopefully not too long, but I don't know. Truthfully, I feel like anything I come up with is either way too short and will be done in five minutes, or requires ASM, which that in itself seem, deems it way too complex for me. But hey, you know, maybe I'll be able to learn ASM during my time off. Who knows? But yeah, I'm almost done. I just want to say, well, shout out to the Simple Flips. And thank you for playing my games. Oh, I was going to say, Sai, uh, the improvement is very noticeable. You are getting a lot better at this compared to when you started. Aww. Oh, okay, so this upcoming hack has a Luigi version and a Mario version. Which one should I play? Who's number one now? Luigi! Okay, there was an overwhelming response for Luigi, so I'll pick that. With me, Luigi! This looks pretty good already. Nice, I like the way this looks. 
Welcome to Super Mario 64 World. This small demo was made for the Simple Flips Hacking Competition 9, Linear Levels. This unfortunately only features one level and is more of a showcase of what I can do as I step on pins and needles trying not to copy Kaze's Super Mario 64 land hack. It is only one level since that is all I could do in this month's time while also streaming over on my own Twitch channel. This is totally not a shameless plug. If you can't tell, my main inspiration was the mainline Super Mario games, especially 3D Land and 3D World. I've even changed most of the general sounds, like the coins, pause menu, and a few of Luigi's sounds. If you're reading this, that means you're playing the Luigi version of the hack, which has no added physics changes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like that text, or that sign, that sign noise. This is the only level in the entry, and it's a fairly basic example of a World 1 level being a straightforward grass land level. Okay. This is already really cool. I know, I know it's a short hack, but that doesn't mean it isn't cool. A hack featuring a ton of these levels would be sick. I know Kaze is working on something like that, but uh, that doesn't mean more than one person couldn't make something awesome. Am I missing the coin texture because of the graphics plugin I'm using, or is that just how they look? I'm most likely just am missing it. How many coins everywhere? It's, it's just fun to collect these delicious yum yum coins. Sorry, there's something wrong with me. Dude, all the sound work done in this game is sick. And the overworld change once I collect- once I finish the stage. Hello, that's sick! A secret teaser at what I had planned for the other level, I had to keep it out due to time constraints. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? There actually was a reason to play it again. Beepus! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. That's awesome. Short and sweet. That is a crossover we didn't know we needed and didn't want. Moving on to this one, I did used to have a Klingoa follower alert. Oh my god, the protagonist is gay. 2019 is so progressive. There are two stars in this hack, both obtained by getting five blue crystals. They are entirely optional, but go for them if you want. No 100 coin stars. By the way, don't try to reach the houses you see in the distance, they have no collision. So you get a star for collecting five blue crystals. That's pretty cool. What was that? Klingoa, you have to head to Bell Hill and investigate. I like the noises that are being made. So Noah's sounds are like my favorite. I'm mad now. I have reached angry. Well, I kept my crystals. All is good in the world. You know what would have been kind of cool? I don't think this means anything uh, necessarily even related to the sack, but just like a cool concept. Uh, but the idea did come from my experience with the sack so far. What if instead of using red coins and having five of them, getting five coins uh, just spawned a star, like a five coin star in each area, and uh, there were no normal coins other than the ones you had hidden. Kind of an interesting idea. So just only red coins? Uh, yeah, but they would be normal coins. That way there's no red coin noise when you collect them. That idea sucks. You suck. I'll have you know I'm over here spitting gold. I think I overcomplicated the way you needed to do that. Oh, I see. I see. He says as he proceeds to make sure he understands. What? After all my excellency, I get zucked? This is really a love of this section. This looks incredibly difficult. Blue. I only need one more for my optional star, which of course you know I was gonna get. Did I miss one? No, dude. Oh, wow. This is a one-way wall. Kinda cool. Well, no remorse if I, uh, if I had missed one. You gonna be alright, dude? I know I said I would stay behind, but I wanted to let you know there's something really scary down there. Nothing you can't handle, but be careful. If anything happens, I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. What a noise for spawning a star. I kinda liked it. I love the noises in this game. Whoa, this looks really cool. No, okay, God. <laughs> I did not want to be in there, let me tell you. That was the fuck pit for sure. I did not want to gain admission. 
No! I was feeling mighty confident about my platforming abilities. Whoa, maybe it was cool that I died. So am I glad to see you? As soon as you jumped down there, the sky turned dark and everything started sinking. You have to go back and fix whatever caused this to happen. I know it has to be down there. You can do it. Damn, dude. This game had lore. Think about how cool this is. I literally would never have seen this had I not died. So, that's why I died on purpose. That's why I did that. Have I ever heard of Clonoma? No, what's Clonoma? What is that? Clonoma, these balls. I don't get it. Is that like a game? Um, what the fuck? That was pretty cool. This game's cool. I can't believe this is a Mario 64 hack. I can, but I can't, you know? Um, what did you want from me? Oh. I didn't know what that was supposed to do. So am I supposed to land there? That doesn't seem very... Oh, I know what to do! I'm doing it, watch! I know what to do! Dude. Okay, let's try this again. That's... Not... I'm not sure if that's what I'm meant to do, but that, that was my idea. I'm, I don't know if it's intended. Maybe you were supposed to shy guy across. Hmm. Where the- these fucking unexpected teleports are boggling my brain. Oh! Dude, I'm getting rocked on this heck. So, what the fuck is this? Fuck! It now makes so much sense as to why it doesn't work. I'm going up a slide! It's an actual slide, it's not just a steep slope. I am very afraid of this platform. <laughs> not want to do that. I was gonna still use the shy guy to get the other one. I guess I'm doing the slide now. Oh my god, this is pretty tricky. Did it. Optional star acquired. Way harder. But now I feel better about having done it. Damn. I like the way this pipe looks. Damn, look at the way this Bowser area looks. Who let you in? Kids are supposed to stay away from frightening places like this. What's your name, kid? Lenoa? I know that name. That's the kid the guy in the golden mask warned me about. That means I have a great excuse not to hold back on. Okay, but can we just talk about how fucking pretty this entire area is? Okay, I guess you can just rush me. Wow. I, uh, I never noticed that my health was in the shape of Klonoa's head until now. Anyone else not notice that? Wow. Get fucked on. Imagine facing me, the Bowser's Earl Master. If anyone was ever looking for video game music to listen to, new music to expose yourself to, Klonoa 2 OST is full of nothing but bangers and moods. I have failed, and our plans have been stopped before they even started. My minions are retreating from this dream. What a shame. That you won't be around to see the peace you brought. When you collect my star, I'll be gone, but so will you. As for why, you'll find that out soon. Until we meet again, Klonoa. Yeah, I, I, I strongly stand by the Klonoa 2 OST. Now there's a few songs that like I wouldn't want in a playlist. They, like a music to a carnival setting, or a song to a carnival setting stage. Not something I really would want in my playlist, uh, but there's some really, really good songs in there. Oh, wow. Wait, huh? I'm a little bit confused. Okay, wow. <laughs> What? Okay, I can get down to that. 